my fans, y'all people know when it comes to Angelo Vega, I always get the job done, no matter what. So stay tuned. Same razor blade time, same razor blade channel. With that being said, I'm out. What got what got you into wrestling? Well, the first time I seen wrestling was in 1985. It was on a video cassette. The first match I ever saw was the main event of WrestleMania 2, Hulk Hogan versus King Kong Bundy in the steel cage for the WWF at the time World Heavyweight Championship. What is your favorite wrestling promotion? I would say... Still WWE... Well, now it's called WWE. Only because I grew up with it. But now there's AEW. Before there was ECW. WCW. But WWE bought it. Um, there's ROH. There's New Japan Pro Wrestling. There's AAA Lucha Libre. There's Lucha Underground. There's so many federations and promotions. But, it's like I said, I grew up watching WWE, WWF at the time. So, I guess that's my favorite one as a fan. Your favorite male wrestler of all time? Oh, man, you put me in the spot. Just one? Yeah. Just one. I would say... So you got to bring my childhood into it. The Ultimate Warrior. Okay. Your favorite female wrestler of all time? Oh, man. That is a tough one right now. Because there's ones that I like currently. And there's ones that I like from the past. I would say, may she rest in peace, China. Okay. Favorite current male wrestler? Favorite current male wrestler Alistair Black favorite current female wrestler Oof. it's a toss up between let me see I would say Charlotte Flair okay favorite theme song from wrestling? Yeah, from wrestling. Oh, shoot. There's so many good ones. A song that I really liked a lot was from Edge. Okay. Least favorite theme song? Least favorite theme song? Oh, man. These guys right now, they call the revival. Their, their song is horrible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Horrible. Favorite gimmick? Favorite gimmick? Well, I would say Razor Ramon because he reminded me of like Scarface and I could relate to that a lot. So, yeah. Least favorite gimmick? Least favorite gimmick? Let me see. Oh man, this is a tough one. <laughs> Least favorite gimmick. Uh, let me see. I don't know. That's a tough one for me. Because there's so many I don't like. Okay. So it's hard to pinpoint one. Okay. Well, best entrance. Either their usual entrance or a special one. Like WrestleMania entrance. The Undertaker. Mm -hmm. Most overrated. Most overrated wrestler? That's tough right now. There's so many overrated. How about most underrated? Most underrated? Let me see. That's a tough one too because there's just too many. <laughs> Have you ever been to an event? Plenty of times. Which one? WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, and Royal Rumble. And they were all in the times when they were here in New York City. 
the farthest I've went to see wrestling is like Long Island or New Jersey. That's the farthest I've went. Who has the best ma merchandise? Right now, top selling merchandise would be right now Roman Reigns. Hmm. Do you know, do you own any merchandise? Yes, I do. Which one? Doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, it could be. You could pick your choice. T-shirts, figures. I have a lot of Ultimate Warrior. Okay. Best nickname. Best nickname. Or like you know, like the side name they call a wrestler. Yeah. Let me see. Stone Cold, they call him the Rattlesnake. I liked it that the Rattlesnake. Okay. Worst nickname. Worst nickname? Damn. <laughs> That's a tough one because there's a lot of horrible ones. I'm sorry, it's just it's just too many. Worst nickname. Worst nickname? That's another tough one. What's up, homie? Are you chillin'? Chillin'? Yo, welcome to my crib. How you doing, sweetie? All right, listen, my house is your house, so relax. Have as much drink as you want. I got hookah. I got anything you want right now, so just keep it easy. Relax. Do whatever you want. Can yeah, you want to say happy birthday? Oh, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate that. No doubt. No doubt. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Cheers. Willow Brown, where the drinks at? It's right here, buddy. I'm not a legend student for no reason. Woo! <laughs> Best mic skills. Best mic skills? Yeah. Right now or, or of of all time? You could select now or before. Or you could give me both. So present and before? Yeah. From before, The Rock. From right now... A lot of people don't like him, but it's the way he presents his, you know, his verbal, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? His presentation, oh, Paul Heyman. Okay. Who's the most annoying wrestler? The most annoying wrestler? Yeah. Like right now? Before and after. Before, let me see. Before, it would have to be... Oh, man. There's too many. It's, it's hard to just pick mm -hmm. one. Who do you think will be the, nice, the nicest in real life? The nicest wrestler? Like towards the fans? Yeah. Well, from my experience, Steve Austin is very nice. Is he nice to the fans and he's nice in real life too? Yes. Okay. Who will, you be the, who will be the rudest in real life? The rudest in real life, from what I heard. Damn, who's like a scumbag? <laughs> um, that's hard for me because I've never met like a, a rude one. So most of the times when you go visit and... Do... I've always met nice ones. Okay. The most hardcore. The most hardcore? Right now? Yeah. John Moxley. How about before? Mick Foley. Okay. A wrestler you could beat. That I could beat? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. The one that I could like I could beat him definitely. Yeah. No problem. James Ellsworth. Best storyline. Of all times? Yeah, from before, now. All right, from before, I would say the mega powers, Hulk Hogan and Macho Man, when, when they split up. Who would be your best friend if you were a wrestler? Well, because of, I love video games and like, 
collecting stuff, I will say it will be the three members of the New Day and Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins and AJ Styles. And But there's a lot of wrestlers now, they're really into video games and collecting stuff. So, again, it's like so many, so, you know. What would your job be in the wrestling promotion? At this current state right now yeah oh my god i would love to do the storylines and fix everything that is wrong right now you have any what specific one well the time when sting finally came to wwe there are certain things i would have done differently and in my opinion better and we would have had the match with the dream match, him and Undertaker. It would have happened if the story was in my control. Favorite pay-per-view? WrestleMania six, when the Ultimate Warrior wrestled Hulk Hogan champion versus champion. Who do you most respect? Of all time? Oh man, that is a tough. Ric Flair. What do you see the difference between the WWE and the new wrestling league? What was it? AWE? AEW. Okay, AEW. Well, Tell me the differences and what you see positive and negative out of them. Okay. AEW is something new, something fresh. But it seems more, in a weird way, traditional. WWE, right now, they have so many like weird stories. And they have like 5 million belts when AEW keeps it simple. So... I would say the difference is like um, AEW does a more serious approach. WWE is more toward like still for like they try to direct it toward kids even though lately they've been a little edgy. So that is like the difference. I've seen a lot of women in wrestling lately. Before it wasn't that many. Do you think is a good thing? It's a great thing because they even brought in Ronda Rousey, one of my favorite female athletes in MMA or wrestling. Even her movies, I like it. So, yeah, it's like, because before, the women's wrestling was not really important. Now they have it where... I dare say it is more important than even the guy stuff going on right now. So you're like the divas. Well, they're not called divas anymore. They are they are now equal to the men. They call superstars. Well, you know they have a show on A and E. I know total divas. So you you think that's a good promotion for the ladies? Yeah, it works. I watch it. What do you think about independent and underground wrestling? Well, I would say when there's two men in a ring doing the match, that's the most important storytelling in any wrestling league. WWE, AEW, the independent ones they do, like, they call house shows. When they're not on TV. But a lot of the... Indi it's all the same. It's just different setting. So, you've been in independent wrestling. It's yes. called WTF. Yes. How many times were you the champion? Well, combined since 1995 is when I started. And I kind of... Semi-retired in 2015 because 
in 2016, I was in a, a car accident. So I was the champion. They call it world champion, meaning that's the top title. I was seven times champion. Okay. I've had other titles, but that's the one that I won the most. So in WTF, do you wrote your own script or you had somebody do it for you? A lot of the time, I had control over my character because I know how my character is supposed to be, how he's supposed to feel, how he's supposed to approach things, his attitude, his charisma, his everything. I, I know what the Angelo Vega character had to do. When other people tried to do it, it, it wasn't working. So I found a way to take control of my character and make it the way it should be. You feel that you could build up a new wrestling league with the new generation that we have coming? I probably could with the right funds <laughs> and the right people. Because sometimes it's just, it's not what you know, it's who you know. So that goes a long way. There's people, they get hooked up in jobs because of somebody that they know. It's not just, oh, we think you should have a job. But, you know, a lot of times it's people that you know. Like network. Yes. Okay. Do you feel that sometimes a lot of this independent wrestling, people are risking their health and their bodies because they want to show themselves they are good into this, but they're really not? Well... I heard something where wrestling does not really cover um, health insurance. It depends where you, which place you're wrestling at that does that. I believe so. Not really sure, but I've heard something about that. Okay. I also know that you're pretty good in acting. Give me some something that you acted well. Something that I... <sighs> I mean, I know it's wrestling, it has the scripts, but you've been in movies, right? A few little movies, independent movies. How, how was that experience? Well, first of all, I didn't have to worry about, you know, it's called taking a bump in wrestling in the mat or getting hurt or beat up. I would say the acting is... Because wrestling is also acting. But, you know, it's like I got to do all my own stunts in wrestling. So I don't have stunt double. Acting could be a little bit more easier. But I know in acting you got to know a lot more dialogue and words and things like that. Do you think in the future you might do your own productions, your own series that not only will stay in YouTube, they might be in a, in a better level? Only time will tell. Let's see what happens. So where do you see yourself in five years with all this and your personal life? In five years? Me, I could never determine anything that can happen in five years. Because five years ago, there's things that I wanted where right now I still don't have it. Or it happened. But all I can say is, for my personal opinion, I live my life day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. Tomorrow's not promised. So I cannot sit here and honestly tell you I can see something five years from now. It's the truth. There's a lot of murder, death, killing, Anything could happen where your life will be gone like that. So it's hard to... That question has always been hard for me. I'm lucky that I was in that car accident to still be sitting here alive today in this chair talking to you. So, like I said, I live my life day by day. I cannot determine something that will happen five years down the line. What advice will you tell our youth of today? 
Don't do the mistakes I've done and other other excuse me other adults have done at a young age and I'm telling you from experience save your money don't start saving it when you're 35 or you're 40 or cuz it's hard start saving it the, even if you have some little job in McDonald's at the age of 19 or 20 start saving your money that way by the time you reach 40 you'll have like so much saved up that you will feel a little extra secure with your life that's the best advice I could give save your money at an early age because I know what it's like you get some fast money and you want to go party you want to go to a club you want to spend it on like vacations or ball games or you like to buy like fancy clothes or jewelry or like you know but I'm telling you at a young age start saving your money you will thank me for saying this to you now like 20 years later when you're 40 because there's a lot of people like it's sad like 50 years old they have what like only $500 in the bank we don't know why maybe something bad happened to them or maybe they was foolish with their money that's why I'm saying at a young age save your money I didn't ask you this at the beginning or in the middle of this whole programming <clears throat> who's your role model who's my role model Does it have to be from wrestling? No, it could be from anything. It could be from anything. Well, it's kind of weird because, you know, wrestling and acting, they come hand in hand. I would say Sylvester Stallone. Why? Well, the character that he did, Rocky, is very iconic. That is a character who teaches you never to give up and keep moving forward no matter what it is you're doing then in the other hand he has another iconic character Rambo who just teaches you how to survive and and same thing keep going and just because we live in a world where it is messed up it is cold it is heartless it is there's not many good people left in the world if you got good friends and good family, hold on to them. But at the end of the day, you are here defending yourself and taking care of yourself and protecting yourself. That's what I could say. So him, when he has those two characters, you see that. So that is something I'm like, wow, I want to be like that. So... And then you see at his age right now, he's in his 70s. Tremendous shape. He takes care of himself. That's enough reason why, for me, that's like my role model. How about your friends? My friends? Well, my friends? I got a handful of friends. I used to have like an army of friends. But a lot of them are like... You know, they're like gone, they're chopped away. They're like, it's like a tree with branches. I chopped off the branches I didn't need that wasn't doing anything for me. And I only kept the ones that are like needed and mean something. So, you don't need an army of friends to feel special or important. You just need the ones who care about you the same way you care about them, like equal. Other than that, that's what I can say about my friends. If you have a message for the ones they no longer in your life, what would you say to them? What I would say to them? Let me see. I, you know what it is? I don't like to talk bad about people, even though you're my enemy. 
So my best thing would be like, be thankful when you have a real friend in your life. Because when you have a fake one, or fake ones, it's like, it bothers you because time is something you could never get back. So it's kind of like, I look at that as wasted time with certain people. When I could have put all that energy into like myself and better people. So I, let's just say I learn from my mistakes. You know who's your friends in one hand. And you know who's not your friends in another hand. So this hand you could like you could throw it away, and this hand you you hold on to it. And one message you got for the ones who are your friends. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. It keeps me happy. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.